hi welcome back to another crochet tutorial in this video i'm going to show with you how to crochet jack nightmare before christmas ornaments so i will be needing five different yarns here this one fake four for our here here and for our the beard milky whitish yarn this is for our face here, as you can see, thinner yarn, red, which is for the eyes and for the hearts. Thicker black yarn for our nose and for here, for the smiley. A smaller yarn for the eyes. I want to use black yarn for the eyes this time. Okay. So as you can see, I just want to use this red yarn for the hats and I will change the eyes with the black yarn. It's up to you if you want to use the same yarn for the eyes. For me, I want to try this time with our black yarn. So for the hook, we are going to use 2 millimeter hook and 6 millimeter hook. 6 millimeter hook with a fur with this one here and the bigger yarns and then 2 millimeter hook for the smaller ones. First, we're going to make this one here, the face, using 6 millimeter hook. So to begin, make a slip knot, insert your hook under the yarn, twist it at 180 degree. Now we're back in place, yarn over and pull through the loop in the hook. Pull and pull the index finger, round 1, chain 4. Yarn over and pull through the loop in the hook. That is our first chain. We're going to do that three more times. Total of four. Two, three, and four. We slip stitch in the fourth chain from the hook. Let's count one, two, three, and four. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull. Pull up a bit higher because we're going to make a circle. Your index finger and your thumb finger should touch each other to hold that space right there. And pull through in that loop in the hook. Pull up a bit higher so you have some space. That is for our round ones. You can see chain one, round two. We're going to make one single crochet right now. Insert your hook in the circle right here. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over and pull through two loops in the hook. We're going to do that five more times in the circle, okay? So this is insert your hook in the same circle, yarn over and pull, yarn over and pull through two loops in the hook, two, in the same circle, three, insert your hook in the same circle, four, insert your hook in the same circle, five, insert your hook in the same circle, six. So you should have six single crochet in total. And in the first stitch, insert your hook, that, yarn over and pull, and pull through in that loop in the hook to close our round two. And this is how it looks like for your round two. Just a little circle. So make sure you have the right number of stitches. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see we have the last stitch here, which is this one. Okay, this is not included because this is a slip stitch. Round 3, we're going to chain 1. And in the first stitch, we're going to make 2 single crochet. Insert your hook in the first stitch, okay? Where you make your slip stitch in the previous round. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull. Make 1 single crochet. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. One more in the same stitch. Insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over and pull, yarn over and pull through two loops in the hook. Repeat that pattern in each of the stitches, making two single crochet in each of the stitches. You should have 12 stitches in total. Two, four. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet, which is this one right here, okay? So normally we skip two stitches here, so one, two, look like a stitch. But we're going to skip those, insert your hook here in the third one which is our first single crochet. If you're confused, you can just place a marker here, which, which is easier for you to see. Yarn over and pull, and pull through in that loop in the hook to close round three. Round four, chain one. Make two single crochet in the first stitch. Insert your hook in the first stitch. Insert your hook in the slip stitch in the previous round. One. In the same stitch, make one more single crochet. Two. 
and one single crochet in the next stitch okay and then we're just going to repeat this pattern two single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch after it so here I am done making my 18 stitches in total okay I ended up with one single crochet in the last stitch okay so now we're going to insert our hook in the first single crochet Yarn over and pull and pull through in that loop in the hook to close our round four. Round five, chain one and make two single crochet in the first stitch. Insert your hook in the first stitch, okay? Yarn over and pull, make one single crochet in the same stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull and make one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to make two single crochet in the next two stitches. Not only in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next two stitches. So insert your hook in the next stitch, one single crochet right there, and one single crochet in the next stitch again. Okay, so this is going to be our pattern in round five. We should have a total of 24 stitches, okay? So we're going to repeat that all the way around and here I ended up with two single crochet in the next two stitches. So we have a total of 24 stitches in total, okay? So now slip stitch in the first single crochet. We always have to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to close our round. Round 6, chain 1. Make two single crochet in the first stitch. 1. In the same stitch insert your hook and make one single crochet two and then in the next stitch we're going to make two single crochet again one insert your hook in the same stitch two and then in the next two stitches we're going to place two single crochet insert your hook in the next stitch make one single crochet insert your hook in the next stitch make one single crochet so this is going to be our pattern all the way around and I'm gonna meet you once I'm done. Two single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet, one single crochet. Round six we have a total of 36 stitches okay and I ended up with two single crochet in the last two stitches. Now we're going to make a slip stitch in first single crochet. Round 7, we're going to make a chain of 1. We're going to place 2 single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, 1. One more in the same stitch. 2. Round 7, we're going to make a chain of 1. And then 2 single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, insert your hook in the first stitch. Make 2 single crochet. 1. Insert your hook in the same stitch. Making 1 single crochet again two and then two single crochet in the next two stitches one and two okay so this is going to be our pattern all the way around making two single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet in the next two stitches okay so two single crochet in one stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch all the way around here i'm done with round seven and i ended up with two single crochet in the last two stitches so one single crochet and one single crochet in the last two stitches now i'm going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet which is this one right here and we have a total of 48 stitches okay so now chain one pull tight and this time we can cut the yarn like this going to secure the stitch here at the back I'm gonna use a small yarn so I can insert my hook easy here in the back okay I'm going to make it in a half this is how I'm going to secure my stitch all the time just make this yarn in a half and make a few knots it's up to you how you want to secure your stitch as for me it's easier this way this and just cut the rest of the yarn there you go we're done with the white piece now we're going to make the eyes 
To begin in this project, make a slip knot using 2mm hook. This. And now make a chain of 4. Yarn over and pull. 1, 2, 3, last one, 4. And in the 4 chain from the hook, make a slip stitch. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull. Pull up a bit higher and pull three in that loop in the hook hold it there we're creating a circle and now we're going to make a chain three in round two okay so yarn over and pull one two and three this is our first double crochet now we're going to make one double crochet in the circle okay so yarn over insert your hook in the circle which is here we we'll tie this one, yarn over and pull three loops in the hook. One, two, three. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through the rest of the loops in the hook. That is our second double crochet. And now we're going to make two single crochet in the circle, okay? Insert your hook in the circle, yarn over and pull two loops in the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops in the hook. One, one more in the circle. Make one single crochet. Okay. Again, like that. That's our second single crochet. You can see. And now we're going to make a triple crochet in the circle. So like this, we're going to yarn over one and two. So we are in over two times and then insert your hook in the circle, yarn over and pull. So right now you have four loops in the hook. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through two loops only, like that. Three loops left in the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops again. And yarn over, pull through two loops again. That is triple crochet. Okay, and now we're going to make a chain of two. So one and two. Now slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Let's count one, two, three. Just this one right here. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull. And pull through in that loop in the hook, like that. This is the tip of our heart, okay? And now, four double crochet in the circle so yarn over insert your hook in the circle three loops in the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops one we're going to make three more two three last one four like that and this is how it look like and now we're going to make a chain of three. So one, two, and last one, three. And now we're going to make a slip stitch in the circle. So insert your hook in the circle, yarn over and pull, and pull through in that loop in the hook. There you go, we are done with our eyes. Chain one, pull tight. Left it a bit higher because later we are going to use this remaining yarn to attach this one here, like this. Pull tight and cut the yarn. So this is like about 5 inches. I'm going to attach this one below this last row. Place it here. I'm going to insert my hook at the back. Yarn over and pull at the back. And insert your hook here. I suggest you use a smaller hook here. Because then it's easier for you to go through in the stitches. So just grab, yarn over and pull. So you have to watch out like this, that they are later aligned like this. So to make sure where you're going to attach yours like this, it's okay for me. And hold, just try to make it there in the right place. And 
I think we're done attaching with our first stitch. Now I will just make this secured. Likewise, make it in a half. Yarn over and pull. There you go. It's easier for us to make a slip knot or a few knots. It's up to you how you want to secure your stitches. For me, it's easier this way. Now I'm going to twist them together and just hide the rest of this. So I'm done with that. Now we'll just attach this one here. And here we are done attaching our eyes. And now we're going to use the bigger yarn. And as you can see, I have here already cut. This is like three inches long. And now I'm going to attach this. This is for our nose. Like this. Yarn over and pull at the back. And then here in the bottom, yarn over and pull. And then I'm gonna draw my other nose here yarn over and pull here and now I'm going to secure the stitch Using the same yarn, thicker yarn for me, so I don't have to go twice like this. About 15 inches. I'm going to draw here, smile. Then I'm gonna insert my hook here at the end, yarn over and pull. So I'm gonna go here, over and pull like that. And now pull it a bit down. I'm going to insert my hook here, here, yarn over and pull. So now I'm going to insert my hook here. So there's no rule here how I make this. I just go on and on. Like this, like this, like this. So I have here six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try to do that six times. We're gonna keep it low key, keep it softly spoken. With no strings tying you to me. I'm happy in your company with no I think I'm satisfied with that. Cut this yarn and make a few knots. Just don't make it too tight together. Now we're going to make the hat. Grab your red yarn and your 2mm hook. Make a slip knot to begin. Now make a chain of 13. 1, 3. 1, 2. So I have here a chain of 13. Now I'm going to make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Let's count. 1, 2. Insert your hook. Yarn over and pull. 2 loops in the hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. That is our first single crochet. We're going to make one single crochet per stitches until we have a total of 12 single crochet. Round 3, we're going to chain 1 and turn. Make one single crochet in the first stitch. That's our first single crochet. Make one single crochet per stitches. All the way down a total of 12 single crochet. Round 4, chain 3. 1, 2, and 3. Turn your work around. This time we're going to make a decrease. So yarn over. Insert your hook in the first stitch, which is this one. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over. Pull through 2 loops only. So we have two loops left in the hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over, pull through two loops again. Three loops left in the hook. One more time, last one, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So once you have four loops left in the hook, yarn over and pull through all that loops in the hook. So three stitches into one stitch and that is our first decrease. Okay, and now make one single crochet until we have three stitches left in the end. Okay, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, four, five, six 
one, two, three. So as you can see, we have three stitches left and that we're going to make a decrease. So just like what we did here, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch and make a decrease. Two, three, four. Yarn over and pull through all that loops in the hook. And this is how it looks like for our round four. So we decrease it three rows, okay? Until we have two stitches left, which is this one here. One on the top of the third chain and two. Chain three. One, two, three. Chain one. Okay, pull tight, put it a bit higher and pull. So then we can hang this one like this. Now we're going to secure. Let's make a few knots here. Go through. I think this is enough. It's finished. So now I'm going to use the fake fur and five millimeter hook. Now you want it. Place first for the hot. Now I'm going to insert my hook here. I think this is good like that. So I'm going to insert my hook also in here and I'm going to make a slit knot of the fake fur like that and pull now i'm going to make a half double crochet the way i'm going to connect this so yarn over and insert your hook in the same stitch and here also in the same stitch of the other piece yarn over and pull we have three loops in the hook one two and three yarn over and pull through all that loop that is how i connect my two piece here to do that in each of the stitches Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, and in the other piece, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull. So here we have three loops left in the hook. Yarn over and pull through all that loops. So I'm going to do that per stitches all the way at the end. Chain one, pull tight, and this time cut the yarn. And now secure the remaining stitch. Now I'm going to put one here also using two millimeter hook in the top of the chain three insert your hook we insert your hook make a slip knot of this one take fur and pull and chain three one two and three the same chain three of the red yarn insert your hook yarn over and pull and pull through in that loop in the hook and then chain one pull tight and cut the yarn and now we're going to make a few knots to secure the remaining stitch and there you go so here we're going to make the beard now and we are going to skip here 10 stitches and 10 stitches here and in the 11th stitch put a marker and here as well 11 stitch put a marker now we're going to grab our fake fur we're going to make a using five millimeter hook. So I'm gonna start like this, okay? From here, all the way here. It's easier for me to go that way. Insert your hook in the marker you made and make a slip knot of the fake fur and pull. Chain one. In the same stitch, make half double crochet, one half double crochet, yarn over. Insert your hook in the same stitch Yarn over and pull three loops in the hook. Yarn pull all the three loops in the hook. That's our first half double crochet. I'm going to repeat that per stitches until the last. So round two, we're going to chain one, turn your work around and make a decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook in the first stitch. Yarn over and pull. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Okay, yarn over and pull. Yarn over and pull through all that five loops in the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and pull. We're going to make shaper stitches. Half double crochet, okay? We're using half double crochet. softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy